course, we are at the Analytics, Big Data, and the Cloud Conference taking place at Fantasyland in West Edmonton. Mall. It's brought to you by the Alberta Council of Technologies at the Basque University and the University of Alberta's School of Business. You can see us on FuseLogic TV, FuseLogic.tv, abctech.ca, and bestofanalytics.com. Right now, we're joined by Don Juswishan. You're with Alberta Health Services. And you were here talking, and I like the title of your topic, and I'm just going to look down here. Give me my data, a not-so-patient perspective. Tell us about that. Well, it's, uh, it, it's reference to the fact that there's so much data that's available um, in repositories and uh, uh, in other forms of storage, but the average individual, the average patient, the average citizen doesn't really have access to their own, uh, to their own record. And with the contemporary um, ubiquity of information either on the web uh, and use of the web, um, we're beginning to think about how is it that we can better facilitate uh, citizens' act, uh, access to their, own, uh, to their own information that can help them think about um, healthy lifestyles, um, how they can adjust their behaviors uh, so as to um, be ensuring that they're putting themselves in the position of preserving their health. Well, it is interesting. I mean, if you go to a bank, the bank will give you the papers for your mortgage. You That's know, right. and if you go to buy something, you'll, you'll get documents for it. You go to your doctor, chances are you walk out with a prescription, you don't have, you really don't have access to your records. You can ask for them, but you, people rarely do that, I imagine. That's correct. But that's going to change. Well, it is changing and, and uh, uh, citizens and, uh, and patients are essentially undertaking initiatives on their own to try and find ways in which they can collate their information in electronic form so that they can take it from one location to the other. Um, they can look at trends, for example, in their uh, blood pressure or their um, um, cholesterol um, ratios. So people are wanting to have that information so that they can become more responsible and independent in their knowledge and in their, um, in their behavior. So I, I think any way that we can develop opportunities for us to facilitate that uh, appetite on the part of the public, um, we ought to be thinking about that. So how does that impact Alberta Health Services right off the bat then? Well, as you may know, there is a uh, project that has been undertaken to provide uh, all Albertans with access uh, uh, through the patient portal um, to uh, their uh, uh, health information and this would have to be secure and uh, ensured that it was um, not possible to be breached uh, because of the concerns with confidentiality and security of that information. So that effort is underway. The other initiative is that uh, Alberta Health Services is very much committed to engaging patients and citizens in the care delivery uh, process and so we're establishing uh, mechanisms by which closer engagement and communication can take place between uh, citizens, patients and those who deliver care to them. Do you see this as a major shift because at one time the doctor was completely in charge and what he or she said is what happened. Now though it seems patients are coming to the table with information, might be misinformation, but they're coming to the table with a little bit more involvement. Sure, and I think that relationship between the patient and the physician is still paramount to ensure that we uh, uh, preserve that, but that we facilitate it with other members of the healthcare team that can be um, uh, collaborating and supporting the uh, healthcare delivery system, be that in the physician's office, or the emergency department, or in a uh, clinic out in the um, out in the community, we want very much to be able to see a team approach to that uh, care delivery. Because, as we all know, not it, everyone, not one person, is going to be able to do everything for what might be needed by that patient. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, healthcare seems like a perfect industry for big data and the cloud because the, one of the things they talk about is cost savings. Sure. Um, when it comes to Alberta Health Services, how how far along are you when it comes to getting into this process with big data and analytics? Well, we have um, huge repositories of information already. And um, the movement of big data and analytics is now beginning to give us the kinds of tools that would be able to have us analyze the data uh, in a way that would give us meaningful kinds of information 
in order to make decisions. How do we accelerate uh, the ability of the emergency departments to be able to queue patients through far more quickly? How can we use our operating rooms to uh, maximum efficiency? How can we use our diagnostic uh, tools so that uh, we are maximizing their uh, utility for um, meeting the needs of the population? And um, those kinds of uh, decisions can only be made when you've developed decision support tools based on that big data that's in the background that you begin to manipulate and use to uh, inform the questions that you've got. And Alberta Health Services is of course committed through its research and analytics portfolio um, to undertake that endeavor. Well, one of the things, one of the complaints about healthcare is that it costs too much and we may not be getting our money's worth as well. Will this fix that? Um, I think you may know that Alberta probably spends one of the highest rates per capita mm -hmm. on health care already in this province. So the question is not a matter of is there enough money, as you quite correctly uh, state, but are we able to utilize those funds that we have most effectively to meet the needs of Albertans more, uh, more effectively? And the answer is yes. There are ways, if we put our mind to some innovative efforts and some creative transformative uh, initiatives, we should be able to do substitution. Um, we should be able to uh, undertake new program delivery in much more uh, appropriate settings than might be an acute care bed, which as you know, is probably the most expensive way to deliver care. But if you can do that at home um, through sensor technologies and collection and monitoring of data, uh, wouldn't that be uh, a win-win for everyone? Mm -hmm. Meaning the community member who would prefer to be at home anyway, as well as the institution that can then utilize that bed for somebody who uh, might be more severely uh, uh, in need of it. So I think the question of sustainability is a relevant one and I think it's one that we can uh, take on as a challenge. The healthcare system often referred to as a sacred cow. You just have to mention proposed change and people get up in arms about it. Is the will there to go ahead with something new like this? Um, I think there is and the will actually arises from the citizens of Alberta. Um, the citizens of Alberta are already accessing information, uh, be it um, on the effectiveness of different kinds of healthcare interventions, or uh, <clears throat> be it uh, trying to understand what are some of the most innovative and uh, cutting edge efforts in the uh, uh, application of a, uh, a cure for a specific disease. They are looking for those on the net themselves now. So our responsibility is to ensure that we provide them with that kind of uh, information in a way that's going to ensure that they get the best information because as you may know, um, a lot of the information that is out there may not be that reputable. Um, it may not be um, effective in terms of uh, what it's proposing to do and so we need to be able to give people the tools so that they can differentiate between those things that are worth looking at and those things that are um, that are not. Don thanks very much for your time. You're welcome. We've been chatting with Don Joswishin with Alberta Health Services. Don't forget we're going to have all kinds of interviews for you throughout the day plus the keynote speakers as well right here on Fuse Logic TV.